Hi, this is Carrie Kazi again, and this video is on how I'm making my director binder. My other video was on how I'm setting up my student binder and the sections I'm going to have for that. So this is for me as a director. I just scanned this in and then put my name at the bottom so it would be pretty. I am using a four inch binder. Uh, if you watched my other video, um, you know that I use a two inch binder for the students and um, we did not put a notebook in for every strand because um, it doesn't fit and they don't necessarily need a notebook for every single strand. But for my director binder, I want a notebook for every strand and I will show you why. So here inside I have, again, if you haven't seen my other video yet, I will give you details on the tabs here. These tabs that I have as my main tabs that stick out are my main um, divisions of the guide and then inside I have subdivisions in some of them so that you don't have to see every single tab all the time. You can just go to the section you want and then get more options once you're there. So these ones, if you're going to look for them, these are nine and a half inches wide. Um, I got all mine, they're all Avery brand from Amazon um, and they're big ones. You can get ones with pockets, which is super handy. So nine and a half inches, this nine and a half inch one will cover page protectors. So if you have stuff inside and page protectors, you will still be able to see these. Um, the smaller ones inside will not. So if you put a page protector on here, it will cover that one up and you won't be able to see it. So just keep that in mind when you're choosing what things need to have page protectors or not. So my first one is marked assignments and in the pocket I have my director planner. Um, that's just a quick doc that I made for myself so that I could remember which strands I had prepped and which strands I have not yet prepped for as I'm going on through my week. And then I just have a copy of the guide assignments. I guess for myself, I wouldn't need to make a copy. I could literally just pull the guide assignments out and put them in my binder. Um, but I was still figuring it out and I made a copy so that I wouldn't um, get all my guide taken to pieces and then forget where all the parts were. So that's all the assignments from the guide. Um, and then I put all of the strands in order of the guide just because why not? So my logic tab has a math trivium table in it. I asked all my parents to get the math and the Latin. I'm going to try to use those in class a lot so that then the students will know how to use them at home for their homework. And then I have in every one of my strands, I have a one subject notebook because that is how I'm going to do all of my lesson planning. So um, when I am ready to teach, I can just pop this out and have a very small, lightweight book to carry with me to the board or whatever it is I want to do um, while I'm lesson planning. I don't have to lesson plan with my giant notebook. I can just take it with me to the couch or wherever it is I'm doing my lesson plan, but then it will be stored here and not lost in a heap or lost down in my uh, rolly bin for going to school with. So I have a different one for every single notebook. And then also I'll be able to easily flip back to last week's lesson or the week before and see what I did if I if it seems like it's something I need to copy or, or change. So there's one for my logic. Uh, there's grammar with my Latin trivium table and some notes I have there. And we're using the Amy Telliston um, Challenge A Latin workbook. If you are interested in that, you can look her up amytellison at gmail.com and uh, so this is the the lesson plan the assignments that I made up to go with that and then here's my grammar book again my Latin is all right in there so that I can take it up to the board with me without having to make, take my giant binder and those are the rest of the assignments for Amy Tellison's workbook um, for research um, I, t I copied and then taped the five common topics right to the pocket. And I think I'm going to do that in the student binder as well. I haven't, that wasn't in my video because I haven't done it yet because I just decided to do it last night. But anyway, that way the kids can always at the very tips of their fingers have the questions there that they should be considering while they're trying to write their science reports. So I just wanted to have one in mind so that I could remember what was on there to reference for the students. And there's my research notebook that I have my lesson plan in. And behind here, I have two more of the small tabs. So you're not distracted by them in the whole notebook. But once you open research, then you can see what's there. And this is the same. I have this in the student notebook as well. Um, I have science fair and all of this stuff copied out of the guide. 
and then I have anatomy and all the stuff copied out of the guide. And again, because I'm the director, I could just take these sections out of my guide and put them here instead of copying them. I just haven't done that. All right, for the reasoning strand, I do not actually have anything in here because the analogies book is set up so that we literally tutor right out of the book. Um, I actually have not done a lesson plan yet for my reasoning strand, but from the training, it sounds like they even have the exordium in there. And so I might put some paper in here in case I need to take a note, but I probably will not put in a whole notebook because we really have the uh, the analogies book. Once we get to fallacy detective, then I'll be lesson planning again, probably. I don't know. This is my first year teaching challenge A. Um, I might need a notebook in here later, but at the moment it's empty. So debate. I have obviously an old math notebook and then copies of all of the debate section out of the guide and then for exposition back here again I just have my notebook and my lesson plan I did lesson plan yes I did there it is and then it didn't take all eight tabs so the eighth tab is just back there and also has the extra tabbies in case I need to make other sections for things so that's the big picture. The wide and narrow um, dividers are the big key for making this binder be as neat and orderly as possible, as well as having a notebook for each one so that I can pop them in and out and use them however I want. So you can be one of the people that likes to keep everything in the same place, or you can be one of the people who likes to have a notebook for every subject, but of course you still don't want to lose them. So this will solve that problem both of those problems for you. So I hope that's helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a great day.